Hello there. We're going to be reading the story, Who Wants a Hug? by Jeff Mack. Who wants a hug? Everyone liked Bear. No one liked Skunk. And his sign says, free hugs. And his says, free slugs. And he's got this big boxing glove on a stick. Hello there, Skunk, said Bear. Would you like a hug? Why would I want that, said Skunk. Because hugs are fun, said Bear. They make you feel great. Oh yeah, well I'm a skunk, see? And nobody hugs a skunk. It's okay, said Bear. I'll save you one for later. Later. That bear bugs me, growled Skunk. He's always happy. He's always hugging. I'll fix him. One smack with this big stinky fish and Bear will be as huggable as a thousand-year-old rotten mackerel. And his box says, Super Stinky Tricks. Hold still, said Skunk. Here it comes. Snap. And then if you see, look, it's flying over Bear and into this tree. Boing! Smack right into Skunk. Poor Skunk, said Bear. You look like you need a hug. A skunk never hugs, cried Skunk. It's okay, said Bear. I'll save you one for later. Later. This bag of stinky, smelly garbage will stop that bear from hugging, said Skunk. I'll hang it from this tree branch and when he walks under it, pow, he'll be covered in stink. Ha 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 ha. Here he comes, said Skunk. Now. What? Why didn't it fall? Do you see what happened? The little bird is holding it up. No fair bird, yelled Skunk. Let go of my bag. What do you think's gonna happen? So he did. Pow! Right on top of Skunk. Poor Skunk, I know what will make you feel better. Let me guess, said Skunk. A hug, said Bear. Never, cried Skunk. How many times do I have to tell you? Skunks do not hug. It's okay, said Bear. I'll save you one for later. Later. That does it huffed Skunk. There's only one trick left, a stink balloon. When this bad boy pops, Bear will smell so bad, no one will ever hug him again. I need a rest, said Bear. And he, Skunk made a sign that says, sit here. Ha 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 ha. I think I'll sit right here. And he's going three, two, one, Ah, said Bear. Well, I better get back to work. What? cried Skunk. Why didn't it pop? No fair. It was supposed to. Pop! Skunk was toast. Sniff, sniff. Whoa, Skunk, you stink. Yeah, pee you. Who cut the cheese? It wasn't me. I think I need a hug. No, cried Skunk. Bear wins again. I give up. Poor Skunk, said Bear. You look sad. Would you like that hug now? Oh, fine. I guess I'll have a tiny one. Mm, he's getting a big hug. P U. Wow, said Skunk. That was great. It was, said Bear. 
You were right, said Skunk. I love hugs. Can I have another one? Another hug? asked Bear. Yes, 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 said Skunk. Um, well, why don't I just save you one for later? <laughs> later. Ah, uh, said Skunk. So he had to put on the clothespin on his nose so that he could give Skunk a hug. All right. Now, what I want you to do is think back to the story we just read, Who Wants a Hug? And on your paper, I want you to make three boxes like this. And we're going to be thinking about what happened at the beginning of this story, what happened in the middle of this story, and what happened at the end. And so you're going to use your paper, and in this top box, I want you to draw or write to tell me what happened with Bear and Skunk at the beginning. And then in this middle box, I want you to draw or write about the middle of the story, what happened with Bear and Skunk in the middle. And then I want you to write or, or draw in this bottom box to tell me about the end of the story. So this will show how the story changed from the beginning to the middle to the end. And I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. And I will see you again next time.